It's a freaking giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another episode of QC Fishing. Today's episode, me and Knox are on Lake Conroe. It's a brutal, miserable morning. Come out here, we caught two small ones. Knox just caught one that was about four. I've got a picture of it. Didn't take a video of it, but so now I want to put the camera in. Now we're kind of onto some, and so far the pattern has been shallow, hard cover. Still not seeing much deep. Hopefully we'll catch more big ones. I don't know, the sun's gonna pop out in a little bit. Um, so maybe that'll push some fish shallow. But stay tuned, I think we got some more big ones coming your way. Want it. <clears throat> I don't know, it seems like, like a couple weeks ago, like all they would eat was my swim jig, but they would not touch your I know. Flip your flipping thing. thing unless you're reeling it in, you know. Now it seems like now they don't want anything moving. 10 pounder inbound off this uh, coming dock. Tell you who it. I don't know, what do you think, Alex? You think a jig will work? Absolutely. Damn, we just fished from that bridge all the way down here. What? We just fished from that bridge all the way down to here. That's pretty far. <laughs> hmm? There's a pipe up there I want to hit, so we'll just wait here. All right, I didn't even get through. Oh my God, that was a fish. It busted, it tried to go through the freaking mat. Oh my God, that was. I almost freaking died. I knew there was a fish there, so. <laughs> For some reason they just like, I don't know, it's just like a little hole. Dumbest people alive. I thought it was a freaking catfish. It's a giant. Here, let me get on this 
side. <laughs> we both thought it was a catfish. <laughs> That's the worst thing ever. That's a giant. That's a freaking giant. Uh, dang. Look at that. C6 right in the top of the head. That's how I thought it was a catfish. Oh my freaking goodness. Make sure you're cool. But I put in the live ball, got a couple pictures. I'll get the release. About an eight pounder. Stupid thick. Pretty good one. We'll let it go. Here she goes. Got a 486 for you guys, another good one. We'll let it go right here. Hey guys and girls, what's up? Uh, we kinda, I kinda went on a little hot streak. We went a pretty freaking long time without catching anything. Uh, so long, in fact, that I just decided to take off the chesty. Um, and it was freezing cold for a while, sun came out, got real hot, no wind anymore. And I think these fish wanted to come up, uh, get in the sun, warm up a little bit, and they started to chew. Um, my best three right now are probably about like 17 something pounds. Um, pretty good day, but it's been super slow. We've literally got five bites today, I think. Actually, no. We've got seven bites today. Two were small, and then the rest were all good ones. So we're going to try to keep doing this. we got like an hour left. Um, and I don't know, maybe we'll catch another one, maybe we won't, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go over the, uh, rod the reel on the bait that I was using to catch those fish. Um, kind of what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. Um, so stay tuned. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you don't get pissed. And I think we're going to catch another big one. We got an hour left, so stay tuned. Cause I kind of want to go over um, what we did today and what we are just doing to catch those fish. Um, we actually started out doing exactly what we're doing right now but it wasn't working in the morning conditions changed it wasn't really working out we had two small bites got off of it we thought it wasn't working we went to try some other stuff we went deep we went to try some docks sun came out sun came out wind stopped uh seemed like these fish really want to move up and uh get warm we didn't really figure it out we kind of just were rotating everything we're like why is not why is nothing working we're rotating everything we knew um we're kind of targeting a uh, main lake, shallow rock. We're using uh, six cents, uh, C6 and shad truce color to hit high percentage rocky points um, in shallow water. And we're trying to hit as many spots as possible. And we're trying to fish like pretty quick. Um, I don't know, this is, this is the kind of the way that I like to fish. I like to fish really high percentage spots and try to hit as many as, them, as, many of them as I can in a single day. Oh my god, dude, I'm like crying. Okay, I'm putting my sunglasses on because I'm literally crying. It's super bright. Um, so we're trying to hit as many of these high percentage spots as possible. Um, and covering a lot of water. And to do that, we've got 
the new Castaway Cranking Series rod retails for, I think, Knox said $149.99. I've got a discount code HC2020 that'll get you 20% off of it. So stay tuned. I think we're going to catch one more. Uh, got a couple, got a couple rock spots left, and then we got to head in. Hey guys and girls, just want to end the video here. Um, it was a pretty, pretty good day, but a pretty slow day. Ended up working out today. Sometimes it doesn't always work out. Uh, you're gonna have to do other stuff, but today it worked out. Hope you guys learned something and uh, saw the way I like to fish. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, uh, be sure to comment below. And I just want to say thanks for watching. Thank you.